Hey guys, my name is Sahil. Welcome to Tube Studio. On this channel, we will be doing a series of Photoshop tutorials to help you learn and master Photoshop. So today, I'm going to show you how to make this cool smoke dispersion effect, which you can see right now on your screen in Photoshop. So let's get started. First of all, take your image and select Quick Selection tool from the toolbar, and make a quick selection of your image. Here, I accidentally selected the background, so I used Command Alt Z to undo the selection and reselect the area again. Now hit Command Plus couple of times to zoom in. Make sure you take all the parts of the image in your selection. Try to be as precise as possible. Then hit Command Zero to fit the image to the screen. Then go to Select, Modify and go to Feather. I have entered one pixel according to my image size and resolution. These images may vary according to your image size. Now make a copy of the selected area by hitting Command J on your keyboard. Then hit this icon on the bottom of the layers palette to make a new blank layer for the new background. Now select crop tool from the toolbar and extend the canvas to the right and hit enter. Now I am going to select my gradient tool and take the primary color as grey. And the secondary color as a lighter grey. Now. Put the cursor on the center of the canvas, press and hold the shift key and drag down till the end of the canvas to make a gradient background. Now make couple of copies of an image by pressing command plus J on your keyboard. We will name the bottom layer as liquify cause we will be li liquefying this layer to get the desired result. Now I am going to select my move tool and make sure the liquify layer is selected. Then drag the layer to the right. After that go to filter and liquify. Make sure the forward wrap tool is selected from the top left in the toolbar. And drag the areas as you see right now. And when you are satisfied with the result, hit OK or press Enter on your keyboard. Now hit this icon to create a layer mask. As you can see, my foreground color is white and the background color is black right now. So press Command Delete on your keyboard to fill the mask with a black color. And do the same with the above layer. Now double click on the mask to open the properties menu of the layer mask. Here I am going to lower the density opacity of the mask to make the layer slightly visible. Now here comes the fun part. Select the brush tool from the toolbar and choose the smoke brushes. I have already downloaded some smoke brushes from the internet. You can download it too. Just write free smoke brushes and you will find lots of free stuff. Now select a brush. By changing the angle of the brush, we can change the shape and rotation of the brush. You will see I will be changing the angle in each brush to get the desired results. Hit square brackets to make the brush smaller and make sure your foreground color is white and start painting on the layer mask. Go ahead and repeat these steps. In layer mask, black hides the things on the layer and white reveals it. Previously, we filled our layer mask with black color to hide the model. And now, we are painting with a white color to reveal some of the areas in the image.
Now double click the layer mask again and turn back the opacity to 100%. Now take a regular soft brush and reveal some of the front areas in the image like you will see right now. Now click on the liquify layer and click on the layer mask. Select smoke brush again and make sure your foreground color is white and repeat these steps till you are satisfied with the results. Now press and hold the ALT key and click on the background to see before and after results. Alright guys that's it for this episode. I hope you liked the video. Be sure to smash that like and subscribe button to view more tutorials like this in future. Have a great day. Bye bye.